Hi, my name is Brandon Gray. I am the product support engineer for System Link, and today we're going to be talking about how to get up and running with System Link licensing. To license System Link, we require the use of Volume License Manager. To get set up for using Volume License Manager and to obtain the license files that you will need to get set up, I recommend reaching out to your National Instruments sales representative. In that setup process, you will be given a license file. And today, the example that I'm going to be going through is assuming that you have that license file ready to install. So as you can see, looking at my systems dashboard, my expiration has run out and is telling me that I need a valid system link server license. Now we'll walk through actually setting up that license. So to begin, you'll need to install Volume License Manager. I'm going to go ahead and include the download link for the latest version of Volume License Manager in the description of this video. But the system that I'm using to give this demo already has Volume License Manager installed, so we're going to go ahead and start with opening Volume License Manager. If this is your first time opening Volume License Manager, it's going to run you through a Getting Started Wizard, where it's going to prompt you for the license file that you have been given. So here on my desktop, you can see the license file. It's a .lic file, but we're going to go ahead and run through the Getting Started Wizard to install the license file. So here I have an agreement license file. So I'll go ahead and pick that. If you are installing a fresh VLM installation, you can ignore the import settings. If you're getting started with System Link, you're most likely not going to be importing settings from a previous installation. Here you are setting up the ports that Volume License Manager will use. This is less important if you are installing Volume License Manager to the same machine that your System Link server is running on. If you are installing Volume License Manager to a different machine, then this will be more important for making sure that you have the network ports open on your network so that License Manager on the machine that System Link is installed on will be able to communicate with Volume License Manager. This menu is used to set up email capabilities of Volume License Manager. For this demo, I'm going to go ahead and skip this step. This may be something that you want to pursue, um, but again, if you are installing Volume License Manager for System Link's use only, this is probably not important. Once we finish the Getting Started Wizard, we can go ahead and click Finish, and it will open up Volume License Manager. Again, if all you're using Volume License Manager for is System Link Server, you are not going to need to do any sort of configuration. You should be good to go ahead and hit Start to start your Volume License Server. And from there, you can go ahead and close out Volume License Manager. Once you have Volume License Manager with your license file installed and running, now we're going to want to go ahead and connect License Manager to the Volume License Server that you set up. So we'll go ahead and open up NI License Manager. Once License Manager opens up, here you'll see the system link is unlicensed. And to connect License Manager to a Volume License Manager, you're going to hit this drop down right here. Go to Manage Volume License Servers, and then enter the machine name or IP address of your server. The easiest thing to do if your Volume License Server is installed on the same machine as your System Link Server is to go ahead and type out localhost. Additionally, if you configured non-default ports, and your volume license server is on a different machine than your system link server, you'll want to go ahead and specify the port here. The default licensing port is 27,000. So if you put a colon and then the port number you used, that's something that you'll need to do if you configured for a non-default port. So if, for instance, we used 27,001, we would put that here after the colon. But since we used a default port, that is not necessary. Once you've put the address of your server in there and hit OK, you should see, if you go to the Network Licenses tab, it should connect to your server, and you should see the items that you have licensed. Here you see the server, the test module, the OPC UA connector, as well as your nodes and test module nodes. One thing to note is that for all of these server licenses, you will only need one. However, for the node licenses, you'll need one for the number of systems you wish to connect to System Link. So given that we can see the number of licenses that we have used here, we have set up our licensing correctly. And if we go back to the System Link web application, what we should see is that the licensing prompt will no longer appear. So as I mentioned, we no longer see that licensing prompt, which means our System Link server is now licensed using Volume License Manager. Additionally, for activating and using the node licenses, 
Here you'll notice this yellow triangle as well as the status is not activated. What you can do to activate all of your nodes is to check the checkboxes next to the nodes you wish to activate. Go to more and click activate and then we'll go through and obtain a license for each of your nodes. So here we see that the nodes that we selected were activated correctly and we should be all good to go as far as licensing for both the server and the nodes. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful and have a good day.